So breaking news is that there will be a winter break in English football for the first time in 2020. So uh, according to Sky Sports News, the FA, Premier League and EFL are close to an agreement over the introduction of a winter break. The FA Council were being briefed on Wednesday on the progress of talks which were prompted by FA Chief Executive Martin Glenn almost two years ago. So Sky Sports News understands the majority of planned changes agreed in principle with the first break being penciled in for January and February of 2020. So it goes on to say, if agreed, one round of Premier League matches would be played over two weeks, giving clubs a break from league action. So the FA Cup fifth round would be played in midweek instead of the weekend and there would be no replays. It would just be go to extra time and penalties. So the fifth round is the one before the quarterfinal. So that means you would only get replays in the third and fourth rounds. It goes on to say, it is understood that some members of the FA Council are unhappy. They have not played a bigger part in negotiations, with talks being carried out at board level. Teams on a break from league action would be allowed to travel abroad for training camps. However, money-making tours to the US or Far East would not be so well received. So basically, in 2020, there will be a break and every team will have X amount of time at least, but there will still be a casual flow of football um, over the two weeks or however long it is. So that will be... There will still be football going on, but there will be lots of teams just having breaks. Um, so they'd be allowed to go to places such as Portugal or Spain or um, Manchester City went to uh, the UAE or um, or you could go to Qatar or something like that. Or, um, but what they don't want is clubs going to places like America or China and playing tours or playing matches um, basically for money a bit like the Asia Cup Premier League Asia Cup and the International Champions Cup uh, that's played in the summer uh, a bit like that they don't want that going on uh, but they do think it's okay to uh, have some warm weather training which is fine because that happens anyway West Ham recently went to Miami City went abroad so and in bigger news, West Ham, uh, sorry, West Brom went to um, to Spain, Barcelona with the whole taxi thing. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't seem like there will be much of a break break. It won't be like there will just be two weeks with no Premier League football or um, competition football. There will be football going on just very lightly over X amount of days. Um, so, agreed, it is the... FA, Premier League and the EFL. So non-league football should carry on as normal. And I'm not sure how far down the EFL that will go. Um, the EFL play a lot more games in the Premier League. So the Championship, League 1, League 2 all have 24 teams. And the Premier League just has 20. Uh, the Conference or the National League has 24 teams. And North and South have 22 teams. So they all play a lot more games in the Premier League side so I'm not sure how that will work out um, but certainly this is something that will definitely be coming in according to Sky Sports so how do you feel about it do you think it's a good idea or I mean it's not like there's many games called off because of bad weather in the Premier League like the last game I can remember being called off because of bad like snow was Blackpool and that was ages ago um, Manchester City had one off but that was called off because of like wind and stuff uh, not so long ago against Sunderland um, but it'd be nice to have a rest. I mean, they think that it might help England's chances in the um, in the Euros and the World Cup and English club chances in the Champions League and the Europa League. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below. This is something that has been on the agenda for a while and it's now going to be coming in. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I am Mike and I will see you soon.